What up, world? It's your boy, Ken and Corey. And today, I want to be talking about what are some of the coolest places or best places in Houston to find and meet other people, like, especially women. You know, as being a guy out here in Houston, I found that it is a little difficult to try to find actual good places to meet women. So today, I'm going to be joined by a new friend of mine. Her name is Genesis. We met in a Facebook group online on Facebook. And today's going to be our first time hanging out. She's going to also chime in on some of the cool places that you can actually be able to find other women in Houston and be able to possibly network, date, or, you know, whatever. Hey, I'm with my homegirl Genesis. <laughs> Y'all know what's crazy? We just met. Just met. We really did. But speaking of just met, I want to give you guys some pointers on how you can go meet you a baddie. You know what I'm saying? Out here in Houston, same way I did. Don't, no, I, listen, I just tripped, but... If you caught that, it's <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna give y'all some pointers. Like, I want to show y'all how y'all can go out and start networking, meeting people in the city. You know what I'm saying? Just maybe if your goal is you want to start dating or whatever, we're gonna give you guys some tips. So, and at the same time, we hungry. We both we ain't ate for like all day. So, I think we about to go to Benihana's. Yeah, she's still looking for something, but we're going to be honest. Y'all go ahead and make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later on in the video. Let's go. You know, I don't really do these, but I think I need to start showing y'all my outfit of the day type stuff, too. It is cute. You like my outfit? Yeah, I like it. She's trying to match me with her hair, though. And cool, look at her outfit. I like your outfit. Yeah, okay. We out here matching. We almost look like we... Like a, almost like a... Like a cup. Like a cup. No, oh, no, 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 no. All right, y'all. So we just pulled up to Benny Hanna's. And I think the first tip that I want to give you guys, though, real quick, before we even get into doing too much, is what? What? You ner You nervous? No, I thought you was about to say about me texting. No, I, I wasn't about to talk about the texting. <laughs> we, we we on a whole nother little thing right now. I think the first tip that I was to give you guys is that you need to start expanding like your social circles and expand. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like this car. Drink car right now. Yeah, Manifesting. Nice. So what I want to say is like you guys definitely should start expanding your social circles and what that basically means I think is I should take my glasses off. Just take them off. Yeah. He told me to wear the glasses, y'all. Wait, let me see. I put them on? I feel like it's a glare on the camera. What? Oh yeah, they're not really. Y'all think it's a glare. But you look but in person. Glasses, no glasses, y'all. I feel like I'm getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> the tip that I want to give you guys is expand your social circles. And that just basically means like you need to start meeting new people. When you meet new people, new opportunities come, new just, you know, whatever could possibly happen in your life can actually start to happen. And the way I expanded my social circle recently was by joining a Facebook group out here in Houston. It was called Houston Eating Meats. Yeah, Houston Eating Meats. But you was joining a couple of them too, like I did. Yeah. You know, it was. I had joined this other one. It was like singles or it was like thirty. Oh, uh, you're in that. Yeah. I think I'm. I saw you join another one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one it was, but I was like, and you, you, dro you dropped all yours right after I dropped my all, all your intros. You yeah, did your intros right after what? me. I was Dang, like, it was really meant, huh? Hey, but that that was the tip. Do you have a tip for how people can meet um, new people? I think definitely introduce yourself. I also feel like you should just be open to make new friends because you just never know. Facts. Look at us now. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so we better go ahead and go into Benny Hines real quick. I just want to give y'all the first tip, and uh, we're gonna keep coming. But that was like a little quick little nugget. I'm thinking I was getting old. I'm like I can't get out the uh, car. <laughs> am I looking at the car? Am I looking at the yeah, Benny Hines. Yes. And Jen. Gen I was say Gen <laughs> Gen Genesis. <laughs> Genesis. I'm messing Look, it he, up. He's trying to get used to my name. That's how you know we just met. We really just met. <laughs> so Genesis just told me she never had sushi before. Never had sushi. Oh yeah, you. She about to try today. I'm from a small town, Indiana. Michigan City only has forty thousand people, y'all. <laughs> okay, well, damn, low key. So That's, I, I think Sugarland is bigger than my hometown. I was eating sushi like, I probably ate it like four times last week. But yeah, y'all, she look good in this light, huh? These are the type of women y'all can meet if y'all just listen to my <laughs> tips. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Speaking of tips, I guess I should give them like tip number two. What's tip number two? To meet women? Okay, so I went to like the club earlier this week and I feel like that was trash. If you're trying to go to the club in Houston to meet people, like if like that's your goal, then that's, don't, don't even try. But what I would say is, Maybe you start going places that you wouldn't even think to even be looking for women in, like Target or Marshalls, like shopping for clothes. Because I mean, look, look at that, you know that? Women like her, like they gotta go, they gotta go do life things. So I would say go, go find some things that are kind of like life chores 
to go just handle and maybe if you're not even going there to actually shop for anything just be in the area because if you're not around the opportunity it's never gonna happen is that a good tip that's a good tip I'm sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. She hungry. Yeah, you been, yeah, look at your phone. My bad. My bad. I'm over here vlogging. <laughs> She's, this is her first time vlog. First time vlogging too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how do I? So, break it apart. Actually, break it? Yeah, yeah break it apart. Hold it. So, what you, you know how to hold them? You just gonna go straight in. <laughs> You're just gonna go stay there. Oh my god, I just, just grab it with your fingers. Go ahead and grab no. it. <laughs> I wanna get this. <laughs> get it. Get it. Wait. Okay, so hold like this. Uh huh. The one on the bottom say, why do you keep having it so like that? That's how you need to start off. Like, well, just, I ain't gonna say nothing. Just try it. Just go, just put it down. Just go ahead. Got flavor, juicy, healthy. I don't think she like it. I like it. You do? It's not bad. I actually like it. It's not bad. Okay. It's really easy to eat a whole lot of it too. All right, go for it. Why does she look good doing that on the cool though? I don't know why. She kind of look good doing that. Okay, so question. How does it feel to be around a bunch of beautiful women all the time? Taking of them, hanging out with them, like having a lot of that. female friends. I have never been asked that question <laughs> on camera, ever. I think the answer is, uh, my whole life I've been surrounded by beautiful women. Especially in my adulthood, I've always been surrounded by beautiful women. So. It don't, it seems normal. It seems to me in my world, it's normal to be around women all the time. And I was raised by women. My father was never around until I became an adult. So it don't feel like anything. I, don't, I never, I never be really realized that I'm around a bunch of women until other guys be like, bro, you got all, the, all that. <laughs> like, but, right. I don't know. I don't really have a feeling. How should I feel? How does it feel to, well, I have another question. How does it feel to be single? It's weird. It's dating now, like, you know, have it's, you... I don't know how to uh, handle it. I don't know how to handle it because I've been, um, I thought I, I thought I knew where I was about to go in my life. I thought I had everything together. I thought I had saved up a lot, enough money. I thought I had put myself in a good enough position in life to where me and this other person was going to be held down forever. And it wasn't enough. So, like, for... That us to go our separate ways. I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of like restructuring where my life is going. So I'm, I'm lost. I ain't gonna lie. I'm lost right now, but I'm, I'm finding my way. <laughs> hey, that's good too, though. <laughs> so we fucked up, Bianni, many honest. It was worth it. Cause it felt good. It took, the waiter took forever, though. But it just went down. Um, horrible waiter. Horrible. Uh, but just in case I forget to close out the video, I want to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Maybe you got some tips that can really help you meet you a baddie. You feel me? And, um, you know, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help y'all learn from me. Because, you know, I just went through it last year. Now I'm single. Got to re-figure out my life. And we're going from there. We're going up. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.